this video is a continuation of the previous video which is part 1 of 5 and this is part 2 of 5 okay today we're going to discuss question 6 until question 10 okay let's look at question number 6 given that log x8 is equal to 3 find the value of x and find the value of log 8 1 over x so log base 8 1 over x and this is two marks okay so for this this is under the chapter logarithm Okay, a lot of students having problem with logarithms, please brush up your uh, law of logarithms. Okay, it's in form 4, chapter 5 for KBSM syllabus. Okay, so let's solve for A. Yeah, so A, so given that log x8 equals to 3. Okay, so this is logarithm form. So you need to know how to change from logarithm form to become index form. Okay, so log x8 so this x i'm going to move it to the right it becomes x power 3 equals to 8 okay and then for 8 we can change to log base 2 so when you change log base 2 it becomes 2 power 3 which is equals to x3 therefore okay we're going to compare so we're going to compare left and right so therefore x is equals to 2 okay so that's the answer which is x equals to 2 okay now let's solve for b so log base 8, 1 over x. So for this, I'm going to use, I'm going to split it up, okay, into log base 8, 1 minus, why minus? Because it's divided, 1 divided by x, okay? So log 1 base 8 minus log x base 8, okay? So log 1 is 0, okay? Log base anything, 1 is equal to 0. So 0 minus... So log 8x, but what is given here is log x8, okay? So which means that we have to tabalikkan the 3, so it becomes 1 over 3, okay? So equals to negative 1 over 3. So that is the answer. Let's look at question number 7. This is under the chapter indices, okay? Indices is chapter 5, same as just now, question 6. So this one doesn't involve any logarithms, so it's just indices, okay? So you have to brush up your law of indices if you want to score in this, in this question. So given m equals to 5 to the power of x and n is equals to 5 to the power of y, express 25 to the power of x plus y over 125 to the power of x minus y in terms of m and n and this is 4 marks okay 4 marks means a lot if you want to score a plus in ms exam okay let's solve this so we're going to write down the question first so 25 to the power of x plus y over 125 to the power of x minus y okay so next i'm going to make the 25 and 125 to become base 5 okay so 25 is 5 square whole thing to the power of x plus y over so 125 is 5 cubed okay 5 to the power of 3 then x minus y okay after that i'm going to break it up so this is going to be 5 to the power of 2x so plus means if the power got plus it means that it's times okay so it's times with 5 to the power of 2y okay let's off the bottom so this is 5 to the power of 3x okay so if it's minus it means that it's divide so divide, okay, divided by 5 to the power of 3y. Okay, and then we look back at the question. So it's stated that here given m is equal to 5 to the power of x and n is equal to 5 to the power of y. Okay, so how are we going to use what they give you, uh, what they give us, okay, to make it in terms of m and n? Okay, so which means that I'm going to, you see here, I draw it red. Huh? So you see here, there's a 5 to the power of x. And here, there's a 5 to the power of y. Okay, same as here. You see here, 5 to the power of x. And here, 5 to the power of y. Okay, okay, let's solve this. Let's continue. So, I'm going to change it to 5 to the power of x. And then I'm going to bring the 2 outside. Okay, leave the 2 outside. Times 5y to the power of y. And then we leave the 2 outside. Huh, we're almost there. Okay, almost there. So, over. So, this 5 to the power of x. And whole thing cube okay then divided by 5 to the power of y and then whole thing cube okay we're almost there okay almost there so um okay i'm going to continue over here okay so become so five okay now we can actually substitute the values of m and n okay we can we can substitute m and n okay so five to the power of x is m so which means it's m square times 
5 to the power of y is n. So n square. Okay? And over, so 5 to the power of x is m. So m cubed. Ah, okay? Then divided by, so 5 to the power of y is n. So n cubed. Okay? So let's solve this. This is m square. Okay? 2, ah. Uh, so times, we've got to get rid of the, there's a divide at the bottom. Okay, there's an obstacle here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change it to times, which means that the n cube is going to be 1 over n cube. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the n cube to the first, to the first row. Because let's say here I've got three rows, first, second, and third. So if it's on the third row, you can actually bring it up to the first row. Okay, so let me erase this because it's not, you don't have to write this down. Okay, it's just for your understanding. So it's going to be m square, okay, or m2 minus 3. Then after that, this n square. Then this n3 already bring it to the top to so become plus 3. Okay, so this will be 1 over m because it's m to the power of negative 1. So m to the power of negative 1 is negative indices, so it's 1 over m. Okay, and then this will be n to the power of 5. Okay, so let's times. Times that together, this n to the power of 5 we times to the 1 with the 1. So we get n to the power of 5 over m. So that is the final answer. Let's look at question number 8. This is a question under the chapter indices. Okay, solve the equation 3 to the power of x, bracket 4 to the power of x minus 1, and then equals to 6 to the power of x, and this is 4 marks. So for this, okay, we must be good in indices, okay, especially in changing the base. So let me write down the question first. So 3 to the power of x, bracket 4 to the power of x minus 1, and then equals to 6 to the power of x. Okay, so do we need to use logarithm way? No need. Okay, let me show you magic. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to write, bring this down. Then I'm going to bring the 3 to the power of x over to the right hand side. So 6 to the power of x over 3 to the power of x. Okay, so if the power, the power are the same, so we can actually simplify it become like this okay so as for the left hand side we just bring it down okay so now 6 divided by 3 is 2 so 2 to the power of x okay and then on the left hand side this 4 we can change to base 2 okay so become 2 square and then bracket x minus 1 okay so can you see or not the two sides the base are the same 2 and 2 which means we can compare the power so we can compare the power, okay? So we bring down the power, yeah? So 2, okay, 2 times x minus 1, it becomes 2x minus 2 equals to x. Okay, then after that, we group them up, okay, to, according to the like terms. So 2x minus x equals to 2. So therefore, x is equals to 2. So that's the answer. Okay, here we go, vector again. Let's look at question number 9. The vector AB has a magnitude of 10 and is parallel to 1, 3. Given that B is positive, okay, more than 0 means positive, find the value of A and of B. And this is 3 marks. Okay, so we know that the A, let's say this A, okay, the bottom one will be 3 times of the top one, which is 3A. Okay, so we let it to be A and 3A. Okay, so we have A and 3A. So AB, okay, equals to A and 3a just treat it like that okay and they have a magnitude of 10 okay let's find a magnitude so a square plus with 3a whole thing square okay and then we square root it so it's equals to 10 okay so here we have a square plus 9a square and then we square root it so it equals to 10 okay so now a square plus 9a square is 10a square Okay, equals to, so the square root, I move it to the right side, it becomes square. So 10 square is 100. Okay, so a square will be 100 divided by 10, which is 10. Okay, so therefore a is equals to square root of 10. Okay, because b is positive, therefore a must be positive as well. So I won't put positive negative there. Okay, so it's just positive, so 10 or square root 10. Okay, so now we have to find the value of b. So B, we know that it's 3A, 3 times of A. So therefore, B is equals to 3 third 10. So that is the answer. Okay, now let's look at question number 10. 
So this chapter is under coordinate geometry because they are asking for uh, finding coordinates and also there's an equation of straight line and then there's a word perpendicular. Okay, so diagram 3 shows the straight line AB which is perpendicular to the straight line CB. So perpendicular means 90 degrees, means you have to use the formula M1, M2 equals to negative 1. Okay, so perpendicular, this is 90 degrees. Okay, so the equation of the straight line CB is Y equals to 2X minus 1. So from here, we know that this gradient is equals to 2. Okay, which means that, okay, this equation is y equals to 2x minus 1. So therefore, I take this as m1 equals to 2. Okay, so with this m1, we can actually find the perpendicular gradient, okay, which is this one. Okay, so the gradient of AB, I label as m2. Okay, so I'm going to use m1 dot m2 equals to negative 1. So m1 is 2, okay, and then m2 equals to negative 1. So therefore, m2 equals to negative 1 over 2. So why we need to find gradient is because we need to find the equation of the straight line AB. Okay, so we can use this formula which is y minus y1 equals to mx minus x1. Okay, you have to find this equation, equation AB. So y minus, so I'm going to use this coordinate because this is the only coordinate that is known along the line AB. So y minus 4 equals to, so the m that we got it just now is negative half. So I'm going to put negative half here. So x minus 0. Okay, so the 2 I'm going to bring it over to the left side. So it becomes 2y, okay, minus 8 equals to negative x. So therefore 2y is equals to negative x plus 8. And this is going to be my equation 1. Okay, so because why they, they're asking for coordinates of b. So in order to find coordinates of b, b is the point of intersection here. Okay, which is the point of intersection. So in order to find the point of intersection, we're going to use okay, the simultaneous equation way of equation AB with CB. And then the answer that we've gotten, which is X and Y, that would be the answer for coordinate of B. Okay, so we have two equations here. So we have one and then we have two here. Okay, so we're going to use simultaneous, simultaneous equation way, simultaneous equation. Okay, I'm going to sub equation two into equation one. Okay, so let's solve this. So 2y will be 2x minus 1 equals to negative x plus 8. So now let's expand this. So 4x minus 2 equals to negative x plus 8. So negative x, we group them together. So become 5x equals to, so negative 2 shift over, become 10. So x is equals to 2. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to sub it into equation 2, okay, to find the value of y. So y is equals to 2x minus 1. So y is 2 times 2 minus 1. So y is 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay, so therefore we have gotten the coordinate B, which is 2, 3. So that is the answer. Well, that's it for question 6 to question 10. Stay tuned to my next video, which is question 11 to question 15, coming up very, very soon. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my latest videos. Till then, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!